Break on through by the doors. This is famously a two chord song, but we also have two really cool riffs that I want you guys to have a go at it as well. Uh, we're in standard tuning, and the two chords are an E power chord and a D power chord, which we could just play. So this is an E power chord, the seventh fret and the ninth fret. I'm also slightly borrowing um, the ninth fret on the third string as well. And then just move them down two frets to fret five and seven. Down, 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 up, 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 down. Down, 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 up, 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 down. And the only other bit, which is a really chords bit, would just be staying on the D power chord. Which would just be four strums, one, two, three, four, to the rhythm as heard on the original recording. Really cool way just to jam along to the original recording like that. And there's loads of opportunity for uh, improvisation. Uh, basically an E minor, E minor pentatonic, E Dorian, all that stuff will work absolutely great. And um, you've got the entire second half of the song as a jam fest. Use it as a backing track and try and play over it. The other rhythm parts that are really clear in this song um, are kind of a doubling up of the organ parts but it's it's really clear on guitar and you can hear it through uh, the right speaker so for example a great thing to do is just get your headphones listen to the original recording on youtube or spotify and if you just have the right one in i'm pretty sure that it's the right one you'll hear the guitar really clear and we have this riff <laughs> I believe that riff does start a little bit later, so it might not be there right at the start of the track, but that is the rhythm guitar part for most of this song. It uses the E minor pentatonic, um, the lower octave of that, the lowest octave that we can play on guitar. And it goes from the open E to the octave of that E, so string six to four, and then open, to the second fret on the A string. One, two, three, four. Then the E twice, the B, and then the D. You could do that all with a down pick or use alternate picking if you prefer. And then we have a slide down from the 12th fret, which is loads of fun. As a force of habit, I tend to slide with my middle finger down, um, especially when we're doing these open E and A chords, which is when these tend to happen. Slide in with the middle finger, and then having that first finger ready to play all the riff is what I would recommend. One more time, really slow. Two, three, four. We then have the chorus exactly the same. That D power chord. But then we have this really cool little hammer on riff. Which uses a couple of chromatic runs, open, first fret to second fret, open, first, second. Really common, it's actually almost the same as the other Doors tutorial I have. Um, which was Roadhouse Blues. If you learn this one, definitely learn that one as well. They're really, really similar and based on a lot of the same stuff. This one, you could even hammer on the uh, second note. Hammer, pick, hammer, hammer, pick, hammer, hammer. So any note that you're playing after an open string, you could hammer on if you wanted. Mm. 
Loads of fun, have a go at jamming along to the original recording, learn those little riffs and details, and then make sure you have a go at improvising over this, at least using E minor pentatonic position one. With little string bends, little bits of vibrato, anything that you've learned in the past, and you'll find more help with that with some of my lead guitar lessons on the Andy Guitar website and app. I hope you'll check out more of those lessons, and you can do so right now.